That was Mark Gerson right there. Pleasure to talk to you. The coach in the world. Here we go. You just need to stay focused on the director. You hardly stay focused on me and three minute coaching. You're going to be on set all day. I think you're really very big because you'll still focus when you see. Are we, are, 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 I thought you were upset about. You are. But you're upset by what? Because that I can't dance. To. So where are you going to rehearse? Here. Right here. Don't make it big. Just maybe it's a little arm. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, and you just so think. Teach me. Teach me. Okay. <laughs> so now we're using something from your own life when you're making a movie. Remember, the scene is about them, so I'll try and still focus, all right? Great. Let's yeah, over your script for a second, all right? And then let's go back and have a big lunch. Oh, yeah. Truthful acting is reacting to the circumstances. To me, untruthful acting is imposing an emotional choice on the scene before the scene has even happened. You don't wake up in the morning and go, you know, it's 9.30, I think from 9 until 12, I'll be happy, then I'll have lunch, and then from 1 until 5, I'll be bored, then I'll have dinner, and then this evening, I'll be really angry. We don't make our emotional choices, not in real life. We forget that what causes our emotional reactions, our emotional experiences, our feelings, is our reactions to events and how we judge them. So a thing has to happen, so that's a verb, uh, an action, a thing has to happen. Then we have to judge it. It's something I don't care about, it's something that means life or death to me. And the value of our judgment determines the degree of our emotion. So for an actor to choose an emotion because the line sounds angry, and then he says it angry, is first of all, easy, predictable, stereotypical, and unchallenging but it doesn't encompass all the things that comes into a human life. So let's do these lines as quickly as we can. We make you listen, all right? I'll give the last line, all right? It's here, finally. But they late. I thought they'd never get here. Hold up, these are fresh. Ah, see? Try it again. Hundreds of them. They late. I thought they'd never get here. Oh, yes. Hold on, these are fresh. Hey, I look like a star. Let's take this as far as we can go. Well, how far is that? Yeah, when is the video? When? Two weeks. And we have to produce and shoot it ourselves. Produce and shoot it yourselves, everybody. Everyone will have a task. Chris and Jeremy round up some good audio and camera equipment. You got you. So let's take this as far as we can go. Whoa, how far is that? The music video. When? Two weeks. But now we have to shoot and produce it ourselves. Everyone will have a task. Chris and Jeremy, run up some good audio and camera equipment. Done. Hey, Allison, are you all right? I'm fine. It's just everything's happening so fast. She's been throughout the whole scene, throughout the movie, she's kind of like the Debbie Downer. You know, she's... <laughs> <laughs> She kind of brings you every so time. So your judgment of her is that she is in conflict with you. Yes. What you want and what she wants are now totally fighting each different. other. All right, this is the essence of all, every acting scene, every script, every, every movie, every play. If there's not a conflict, there is no drama. So you have to, so the actors have to look for what is the conflict and then fight it. Now, there are different ways of fighting it. You can, you can agree with somebody and get them on your side. You can invite them to get them on your side and you can enlist them, or you can attack them and force them to opposite actions. Now we have a character that is going through a range of actions, which causes a range of emotions in the audience. It's the audience who you want to feel. You want to make the audience feel. Because if you, if you feel immediately in the scene, the audience sees it and they go, that's not what I would feel. And now they're looking at your feelings and judging, why is she crying so soon? Nothing's really happened. But if you can actually go into an action and cause someone else to take an action, the audience feels now they're with you in the scene instead of watching you in the scene. And you know how much a video would mean. Cut. How much would a video mean? You tell me. You mean everything. What does that mean, everything? Group. That's just a word in the dictionary. What does everything mean? You must have it's an what image. what we've been for working for is what? It's, it's the wardrobe, it's the rehearsals, the countless hours that I've been putting in talking to Susie and Kehene and having all these meetings. And now that we're trying to get things, now that we're finally getting things off and running, it's just like pulling us down. Okay, what happens if you enter this competition? What are the possible results? So there's a personal cost, there's a personal interest in this competition thing. 
you got to keep the doors open on your on your studio. If not, you've got no place to rehearse. You have no place to rehearse. You can't dance. You can't dance. You're not the hip to pop kid. Dancing is the thing that unites you. So in essence, you can't keep this family. You can't have this family unless you got this place. You gotta have a home. Yep. <laughs> So you want to keep this family together. So when you hear Allison say things, which from her perspective are very realistic. Are very logical, yeah, if, yeah. if Allison was sitting in that chair, I would say, well, you've got to fight for realistic things and have a business plan. Come on. She's very realistic. I would, I would make her prove to you that she's right. Your job is to make sure that you prove to her that you're right. It goes all the way back to the listen, argue exercises that we did prior to the shooting of this, yeah. of this entire video. Listen, argue, two proving points. And from that conflict comes the creativity. See, my music is danceable, but guess what? We always dance to hip hop and R&B. How come hip hop kids? But you didn't even give it a chance. Hey, it's called giving it a chance. Point. Point. I'm proving my point. It's better. It's, okay, no. It's better movement. You can actually dance to it. I do know your stuff. You don't even know what it is. Exactly. If you, you listen to both of them, right? They're both as just as equal as good. But you don't even dance to when it comes to your stuff. You just want to say, oh, I never even heard this song. Yeah, but I never heard it before. This. No. Give it a chance. Don't knock it till you try it. Play it. Let me dance to it. He just busted you. That's true. Don't knock till you try it. You're not listening to him. Don't forget to listen to him too. Okay? This is the scene now. These are, let's say, the, the two important people in the scene. We have a third element in there. He's alive too. If he says something, you gotta hear it. Alright? Start again. Real quick. And action. Uh, Cut! Is he listening? No. I'm not listening, sorry. See? Taking the scene, it's not doing the scene. That's just taking the scene. Now the scene's about you. The scene is never about you. The scene is about the scene. What happens in the scene is what the audience watches. You make it happen. But if you make it about you, nothing really happens. Okay? Narcissism is not acting. Okay? Make sure that the, the things you invent aren't always comments on yourself. Sometimes we're so witty, we're cute. You don't want to be witty and be cute. You want to be witty on the scene. So you're so you're so quick and you're so smart, you end up having the argument with you instead of with her. Have a seat. One of my teachers was Burt Reynolds, and he said whenever he came out of the dressing room, he walked up to the camera and went, "You and me, babe," and they did his work. No. See what happens? Mm. Mm. Until he has it, that camera on you. That's when you talk. Okay? And we shoot faster. We do better work. Now, did you? No. Oh, have a seat. Did you notice, this is something very important, this is, regardless of the project we're about to do, I want to give something to you. You will find often in your scripts that you repeat a line, like, what, what, what do you mean by that, what do you mean by that? And every time I give it to a young actor who doesn't have a lot of experience, they say the line like this, what do you mean by that, what do you mean by that? It's just spitting it out. He said, I'll take Barry Bonds, is that what you said? He said it four times in a row, each time completely differently. Not because he had time to think about how he was gonna say it. It came out differently every single time because he had a different thought for every time. Because he was attacking him differently every time. So when you look at your lines, you gotta look at why you say them, not how you say them. Because the how will come with why you say it. And why comes from who you're in relationship with. That's the rule of life. And that's why it's the rule of good acting. So when you're in these big group scenes and you have your one line, you're in that scene from the moment they say action to the moment they say cut. And that doesn't mean I'm waiting for my cue. That doesn't mean I'm waiting for my line. It means I'm listening to what is happening every single second. Listening, which means what does it mean to me? What does it mean to me that your pants are just so boring compared to how fancy hers are? Everything in every scene is personal to you, especially in this project. Why? Because it's about what? Hip-hop kids. It's about you. So everything in every scene is important to every single one of you, whether you have a line or not. So if you're not paying attention to what's happening in the scene, you're not making the scene happen. Okay? And we'll shoot over here. We did improvisations based on listening and action, imagery and action. Imagery and action is the basis of all my work. If you don't see the subject, not the words, if you don't see the pictures, you can't create the words. All words are just symbols for things in our minds that we see in the movie in our head of our everyday life or the things we see in the environment around us. So if we don't see what we're talking about, we really can't speak it. We can say sounds, and we call them words, but they're not 
as my master teacher, Charles Nelson Riley, used to say, if they're not coined, you must coin the word, which means to make it now. And that comes from reacting to the circumstance now. Some of the circumstances in our life are from the outside. Someone pulls over in, uh, in, in a lane. Uh, someone bumps us with our cart in the grocery store. Someone waves hi at us. We are always reacting to things outside of us. Some things are inside of us. You're driving along and you forget to turn the hot curling iron off or you left the dishwasher, the, the microwave on, and you nearly pull off the lane and into another car because you think you're going to burn your house down. Your internal and external circumstances, the things we see inside and outside of us, are the things that we really live in and react to. Don't play a game with us. You've been here, you've done all of this. What are, you, where are these excuses coming from? You've been at the wardrobe and the rehearsals and the countless hours that we put in, and now you're gonna come and give me these excuses? I'm not having that. So let's do that, the script's lines, exactly as the way you just said, your subtext. Finding your explanation, subtext, lines below the line, are the way of connecting your personal self to these imaginary words, this imaginary circumstance. Let's go back. We'll do one of the street shows. Drop the hat. Maybe we can sell some CDs as well. It just seems a little unrealistic. Allison, you've been a part of this group for two months now. You know how much this video would mean. Allison, you've been a part of this company for two months now. And you know how much this video would mean. I'm sorry. It's just everything's happening so fast. I can't get here on time. My school's all the way across town, and yours is close by in the city. You have to work something now, okay? That was clear, crisp, commanding, active. Thank you. Give them an image, they'll get a reaction. That's their acting. All right, that's it. That's all you get for today. I'll have to, I'll have to charge you. <laughs> Good questions.